Hey guys, Retro Badger here with episode 5 of the Voyager Elite Force walkthrough. So we're beaming back from the uh, alien ship. It looked pretty bad out there for a while, but we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, sir. There's the doc. There are no medical deferments. He tried to get out. Chell tried to get out of the hazard team with hemorrhoids. Doctor, That's a good idea. Ah, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary, though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. They so stole that from first contact. Remember when he said that to the Borg? That was really funny. Tom. What? Want more cream? <laughs> She's frozen. Oh, cool. They've so they've properly modeled um, sick pay out, haven't they? No entry. Mild Storage. Burns. Mild burns. All right. I've noticed that they they use force fields to um, seal off bits of the ship. They don't want you going down yet. Uh, here we go. Deck four, hazard operations. Hazard operations. Not here, not here. I always check with doors. There is a map on the wall, but it's usually too blurry to read. Uh, let's think. No. Got to go. It's like a little um, mess hall. You think you had it tough? Try being a Betazoid on Vulcan, where any hint of emotion is frowned upon. Hey, Alex. Just come from sickbay? Watch it. Mr. Neelix. Oh, I wish the replicator How worked. Be your light cobbler? Delicious, thank you. In fact, I think it does on the expansion pack. Excuse me. Mr. Chen, your carnalip stew? Great, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Well, just because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Thank you, Neelix. Oh, what I give for a phaser yes. rifle around I'm now. sorry, Anson. I'm just a little busy right now. Oh, the turbo lifts the other way, isn't it? So yeah, with this game, and I think it's common with quite a few old games, you have to like do um, the mission. You have to do specific things to trigger certain events. So if I come in here before going to the mess hall, these people won't be here. Yeah, they messed us up pretty good. Well, that's not really fair. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? I heard Chakotay and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along in the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation. All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. And there we have a brief. With the information your team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. This is called the Forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing? Or why it's here? No. The Ethereans had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is isodesium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Alana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then that looks suspiciously the like the bridge the um, from the Ethereum screen. Shows that there is isodesium nearby. Unfortunately, see, it. Let's see the black thing. It's located one here. up there, one down there. What is that? 
the scavengers base of operations these are the scavengers a loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here they survived by raiding other ships for supplies like their attack on voyager earlier the isodesium was most likely stolen from other ships looks like they used some of it but most of it is scattered around their base they probably don't know of its energy potential it's imperative that we get the isodesium i like it how there's terran people there we don't the know empire what surprises we'll encounter here or what that and they're not making a big thing soldiers. about that Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, human, Malon, and Herogen. We're a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction point. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good luck, team. Well, so at this point in Starfleet's history, they were comfortable with uh, coming across the Terrans. Like, it's, they don't even talk about that. That just strikes me as odd a bit. Oh, I'm serious, man. Vulcans love it when you yank real hard on their ears. Some <laughs> Commander, I'm sorry, Ensign. I don't have time to talk right now. Weapon. Oh, grenade launcher. Grenade launcher is ace. It's got two options. Obviously, it shoots a grenade out. But the second one shoots out like a sticky grenade which sticks to the wall and then blows up. Very, very useful. You can clear a whole room out with one of those. And we're going to need it on this mission. So now... Oh, I'm lost again. So now, um, we need to go to the shuttle bay. Can I not just take the transporter? Be a bit quicker. Deck 10, shuttle bay. Saying that is probably offline. Here we go. Shut up, they're waiting for you down below. They're having some trouble with the docking clamps, but I think Salma and Lang are on it. Hey, you can see the Borg tech on the back of that. There we go. Sir, now is not the time. Inside. I'll try it again. I've already tried it five times. They're stuck. The controls must have been damaged from the attack. Oh, great. Hey, Les, can you send one of your men down there? If we can't get those docking clamps released, we'll be going nowhere fast. Sure. Monroe, you don't look busy. Get down. No, no, I'm never busy. Just save the ship every day. We tried that. It's sealed from the inside. You'll have to go around. I'm the John McLean of Voyager. So what's with that base? That's right, I have to do that one. Careful, that's highly compressed seroton gas. It's got to be over 500 degrees. I don't think even your hazard suit can protect you from that kind of thing. Well, I don't want to end up like you, so yeah, okay. I'll use my secret passageway. at your service. I will be your captain for this flight. I estimate a cruising speed of about two-thirds impulse power and an elapsed time of just under five minutes. All right, captain. We're all set here. Okay, all aboard. I forgot to add, when you get the new weapon, you can actually go on the holodeck and try it out. This is your um, the in -flight movie will but be it's just a bit of a waste of time. Versus the robo -zombies. If you know how to play a first-person shooter, you'll be fine. Hope you have a pleasant flight. 
I like these little cutscenes. Good, pretty high quality, I think. Here we go. This is this mission, in my opinion, is the the best one in the whole game. Um, as you can see, there's an old Constitution class ship there. I cannot wait to get to that stage. That's my favourite bit. You actually get to go around the Terran's um, ship. Good luck, gents. <laughs> the Delta Fly is pooing people. Alright, this is a stealth mission. Avoid detection at all cost. However, if you do find yourself in a hostile engagement, defend yourself by any means necessary. En route to airlock three. Right, on my way to airlock two. Yeah, it's really fun this uh, next mission because um, you get to go through all the different species technology. So we've got Klingons, Malon, Herosian, humans. Kelsia checking in. I'm in position. Odell checking in. I'm through the third airlock. All right, team. We'll be using a coded Federation subspace comm channel, but try to maintain comm silence unless absolutely necessary. When I give the signal, return here. We'll have pattern enhancers set up to beam us out. Here we go. Third person view. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. I shall see you in the next episode. Okay, Monroe. Bye for now.